I almost don't want to interrupt the solace. Good morning. Happy New Year. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's a gorgeous morning. <clears throat> Yesterday, I talked to you from here, and it was minus 18. It's now a balmy minus one to start the new year off. Going up to plus four today. I had no plans on going anywhere today until I saw the weather. I'm going to have to go out. I don't know if I'll take you with me because some, most of the time when I go out, it's pretty freaking boring. But a cheers. And I hope this finds you well. I hope New Year's was wonderful for you. I hope the new year will be wonderful for you. If last year was good, I hope this year is better. If last year was bad, I still hope this year is better. I, I want to start my excuses tour right now. I really wanted to go live last night, but I, I'll make every excuse possible to get away from, I'm just nervous as hell. And I thought getting really good and high would make me less nervous, but not to go live because then I thought, geez, I'm just too high for this. I, I don't feel right talking to people like this. Uh, me and my boy, we did the short video, put it out to y'all. That was around 10 o'clock. And that's about my bedtime yet. I stayed up till midnight 30. Eh, midnight 15. But I did sleep fairly well. Oh, of course we're, we're, we're chronically ill. Yeah, of course my IBS got to me. But not as early as it usually does. I slept right from... I, I think I went to sleep right away when I hit the pillow, which I didn't think would happen. So about 12.15, 12.30, I was out. And my first wake up wasn't until 4.30. That's cool when that happens. When I can get three or four hours straight without even really realizing it, and I didn't have weird dreams. I wanted to share that with you. The night before, although I slept most of the night, my dreams were of me not sleeping, of me having trouble sleeping, of me waking up every few seconds but it was in my sleep. It was really off-putting. I was sleeping through it, but waking up through it, like it was very difficult to explain how when I really woke up, I was feeling like, yeah, I just woke up three minutes ago. I was sat in my dream. And I had to look at my clock and say, the last time you actually looked at your clock, it was hours ago. You're sleeping. But I woke up so tired, and I was all, I was really tired all day yesterday until my nap. Just very strange dream. But last night, I had really good dreams. I found a, a impractical jokers. Got to look that up. Got to try to stream it. There's six or seven uh, seasons of half-hour shows where these four best friends, been best friends most of their lives, just play jokes on each other and try to embarrass each other. And it's just really, really good, light-hearted humor. And I shouldn't even call it light-hearted. There were times there I had to pause it because I was crying so hard. I couldn't see some of the things that they were doing was just hilarious. My plans. My plans is to, yes, this new year I do plan to do more strain reviews. If only I could find a way to not have them go. Uh, they, they go and they put a uh, adult only tag on it and once it's become that it is fully demonetized they put you will notice ads on it so they're making money off of my video and paying me zero 
zero. If I get a red tube view, then I get paid for it. That's it. Adult only. I even, when, I, when they told me it was demonetized or uh, restricted to adult because it didn't meet their standards, I wrote them back and told them, here's your standards. It meets it. Where doesn't it meet it? It is educational. It's to help people. There are thousands of people under the age of 18 who are prescribed medical marijuana. And although my video is more aimed at the seniors and whether they need this kind of medicine or not it's aimed at anyone who wants to learn about things so it's a shame that it gets that and those are my ones that get the most views if i did only strain reviews although i'd have to get a lot of strains the channel would die because i'd make no money I'd be demonetized all the time. And if you get too many of those adult restrictions or demonetizations, then my channel gets uh, shut down again. I had that last year. I plan to make 2019 a year of keeping my YouTube on the air. So I do have to make some accommodations and hopefully throughout this year and next year, YouTube starts to figure this out and starts to realize as it becomes more and more legal throughout the world that they got to stop picking on people like this when there's YouTube videos out there that are just absolutely horrible. Yeah, they're getting de those really horrible videos and I'm not even mentioning them get probably get demonetized, but they're still there. And yet something like mine's called a danger to the public. Enough complaining. The year has started. We're going to start it off right. And unlike yesterday's video, I don't mind sitting here talking because it's a nice, nice morning. Friends, I'm sorry I was not online last night. I really wish I could have done it. And maybe one day I can. I don't know. We'll talk. Peace and cheers, friends. Love and harmony. Catch you on the flip side. Might see you later today. Much love.